Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video is going to be a cool exercise in robotics with using the ultrasonic sensor and the color sensor. The exercise is going to be called Swept Away. It's a really cool objective to show your students and have them be able to, you know, master being able to program using the ultrasonic and the color sensor and being able to just use objects like a cup today to be able to knock it off and show that they know their sensors. If you want to see this exercise, stay with me. Hino Lego Robotics. Okay guys, so if your students are ready for swept away, they're gonna need some type of robot. My students just use their educator robot. They put on an ultrasonic sensor, they'll put on a color sensor. Anything else, it really doesn't matter because the front of their robot just needs to be able to their ultrasonic needs to be able to see in front of them without any obstructions and their color sensor today you'll notice just keeps their robot on the table so the objective is going to be for their robot to be able to knock three cups off of the sumo table no matter where i put the cups and their program has to be able to fulfill that task so today what i'm going to do is take you to the sumo board and show you what this looks like and for those of you that want to see what the program is you're going to have to hang out until the end of the video so I can show you what the program was. So let's first go to the sumo table, come on. Okay, so the object of Swept Away is you have your robot here and I'm using the sumo board here and I have three cups and the objective is for the robot to be able to knock these three cups off the sumo table in any type program in any situation, which means I should be able to put these cups anywhere and because of the program, this robot should be able to knock these cups off the table. And to, because I'm using the color sensor, we're going to consider the off the table just be, you know, the white or past it. Just because this uh, color sensor, when it sees white, it's not necessarily off the table. So that's the objective. Any cup configuration, this robot with the program should be able to knock these cups off of the sumo table. Okay, so the goal is for this robot to be able to knock off these three cups, no matter where I put them. So I'm gonna do this program once with the cups the way it is right here, and then I'll just randomly place them somewhere else and run the program again. So that is the goal. No matter where I put these three cups, the robot should be able to knock them off just because of the program. So let's go ahead and watch this. We'll consider any cup that's on the white off with the table. It actually might see that one again. Yep. Okay, so we've successfully knocked them off. Let's go ahead and try another configuration. Okay, I have the cups in a different configuration here. Let's run the same program and see if this can knock off the same amount of cups. Nice. That's what we want. Okay, just for fun, let's try one more configuration. Okay, I just went with a three o'clock, six o'clock, nine o'clock configuration. I moved the cups a little closer just because I don't want this ultrasonic picking up other things here. So let's give this one a shot. That cup is off. I didn't want the robot picking up that cup still. That's why I kind of made them a little closer. Okay guys, so now that you've seen what the program does, 
I will show you the program. So for those of you that teach robotics, this is my program. Is this the only program? No, but I think this is the best program because it kind of resembles the Sumo program and it also makes sure the robot stays on the table. Did we need the color sensor? It just allows your robot, no matter where it is on the table, just to not go off the table. Um, could I have done this without one? It, it would have been a little sketchy, but it ends up working. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the program, but students, you're not allowed to look at this unless your teacher told you to. Okay guys, I am on my Lego EV3 software here. I apologize for the screen doohickey things, whatever that is. I'll try to make this program as fast as I can. So I'm gonna put a two second wait block on this program at the beginning, so that way when I press the middle button, I can get my hand out of the way and my robot doesn't see my hand instead of the cups. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and we're gonna spin. So obviously on this one here, you can make this thing spin whatever direction you want. So I'm having this spin to the right. I'm using another weight block, and now this is gonna be used for the ultrasonic. I have this sensing something within 18 inches, then it will activate the next part of the program. So it's gonna be spinning, looking for the cups. If it sees a cup within 18 inches, it's going to go forward at 30% motor speed. I just turn this on because I don't want this thing to stop until it sees the white of the sumo board. So there is another weight block. If it, I set it to look for white, and if it sees white, I'm having it go forward a little bit more because I noticed when, it, when the color sensor saw white, it wasn't pushing the cup all the way. So I'm having it go forward just a little bit more to push that cup off the table. And then it basically backs up three seconds to that same middle part. I want this thing to return to the middle so it can continue the program. And then like I said before, I, I had this thing going on for more than the cups I have, just in case it sees a ghostly thing and it goes forward, but there's no cup there. You could just put this on for infinity um, until all the cups are knocked over. So there is the program. Okay guys, so that's it. That is the task, the objective, what it looks like, and for those of you that would really want to see what the program was, that's the program for that. So hopefully you're able, you were able to know that without looking at the program beforehand. Uh, Mr. Hino, could we have brick program that easily? Same kind of uh, setup, but we're just brick programming it, and it just allows you to be able to kind of see both ways. If you really want to know, you can ask me in the comments, and I'll, I'll basically tell you what the brick program is. But it would have been the same thing because the sensors react the same way, whether it's a computer program or a brick program, okay? Hopefully that was a cool exercise. And I just have to forewarn you that that ultrasonic, sometimes it it picks up ghostly things, like it'll pick up something where there really isn't anything there. So I would suggest looping this program forever or just putting it on for more times than you have cups. Because as you saw from mine, sometimes it picks up something that is still there like it might be picking up the cup that's already there or picking up something that who knows what it was okay all right guys hopefully you liked it i am mr hino from missing lego robotics i'm out he's out he's out we got this we got this we got this guys hey guys mr hino here thank you so much for watching and if you love robotics don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.